All right, today, guys. <laughs> Go ahead, Brandon. Right, you I'm got good. it, man. You, you're you're going to out. this podcast. We're going to tell our all-time favorite video games, top five. Right, Spanning from when you first started playing video games to right the fuck now. now. All right, here's my list. I'm going to start with five. That's going to wait up one. Oh, they don't. They have, All right. have it written down too, right? Yeah. My video games, <laughs> these were, <laughs> the thought I put into mine was ones with meaning and, of course, what I thought would be considered the best video games of all time. No, no way it's guy. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> you were crazy. Oh, hot damn. <laughs> good video game, but it wasn't, I mean, let, let's put it that way. Good. That's all I'm going to say. It's good. That's all there is to it, though. There's nothing you to just do. keep going. I'm going to be... All right. Anyway. Unfortunately, I'm in the center shot, and I haven't thought of my top five, so I'm going to sit here like this. <laughs> so you, to, you just see him... I'm going to sit here like this. For the next five minutes. Yeah. All right. My number five, Left 4 Dead. Yes. For yes. sure. Mm-hmm. It's a groundbreaking game. Mm-hmm. There's nothing else out there like it. Mm-hmm. And it's fun to play with your friends. It is really and I played the shit out of that game. My number four is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. It's so quiet, you're not going to be able to hear it. <laughs> and the reason why I chose that is because, obviously, the first one was a groundbreaking first-person shooter. There's nothing else like it. And number two, they just made it that much better. And it outsold the first one. It was like the best-selling video game of all time when it did come out. When it came out. Yeah. Not now. When it came out. But in my opinion, it's still today is the best Call of Duty multiplayer, in my opinion. And I put so many hours in that video game in high school. I probably gained 15 pounds in high school just because of that multiplayer. <laughs> All right, number three is Grand Theft Auto by City. The reason why I chose this one is one of the first. I get some ideas, buddy. It's one of the first. Grand Theft... <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> but it's one of the first Grand Theft Autos I ever played. Actually, it was one of the first PS2 video games I ever played, and that was a groundbreaking game. I mean, it's one of the first person. Open shooters, there was. All Brandon's picks are hashtag groundbreaking. Hashtag groundbreaking. Hashtag, hashtag groundbreaking. groundbreaking. Hashtag groundbreaking. Except for this game. If you think about it, though, they all are. Number two, Kingdom Hearts. But I will I will agree that that probably isn't one of the best games of all time. But it's the first video game I ever played on PS2, and I thought it was just amazing. Just the franchise. It is a good game. The franchise alone is damn good. Yeah, it's a great game. And my number one of all time is Metal Gear Solid. And I don't know why you wouldn't choose that one. I was thinking. Oh, okay, I understand that, but Metal Gear Solid, that for sure is one of the most, I mean, okay, I'm not going to say groundbreaking. That's not groundbreaking. I'm groundbreaking. But, I mean, there's nothing else like it as far as story, stealth, video game quality, there's nothing out there like it. I I played the first one, I played on the game. Amazing. Well, they remade it on game, because it's not as good, like the voice acting is totally screwed up on that. But Metal Gear Solid, probably my number one game of all time. All right, my top five. Let's hear it. Number five. Just because I love this character so much. Groundbreaking. It's, it was groundbreaking. Hashtag groundbreaking. Groundbreaking. <laughs> Fuck, I already forgot what, which one's I had. I'm going to need a piece of paper. You guys keep going. All right, buddy. Give me a bear wire. Shut up. <laughs> because I love this character so much, the video game in it, was basically, oh, thanks. Go ahead and drink that. That's good for you. <laughs> Hashtag groundbreaking. <laughs> but, uh. What the fuck is going on? Why is the red on this side, but the spiral? <laughs> the fuck? You got it upside down. Bro. You got it retarded. No, you got it backwards and upside down. <laughs> anyway, this game was basically a comedy hack and slash. And I'm obviously talking about Dead. Oh my god. Deadpool! Not a good game. Though. Love that game though. I mean, I understand it'd be a fun game to play on a bored day, but that'd be about it. And the <laughs> achievements on it. Okay. So easy. So easy. That's why I like the game it's so much. It's easy. It's fun. It's hilarious. Oh, I like it. I understand. I wouldn't say it's groundbreaking. Groundbreaking. <laughs> it's not groundbreaking by it's any. It's groundbreaking. <laughs> but it's, it's enjoyable to me. Number four. Sass creature. Yeah, I will say the first three were good. After that, four was great. Yeah, Black Flag is four. Great. I heard it's good. I never played four. I love Black Flag. Black Flag is great. 
I like the Assassin's Creed 3. That's probably my favorite. I started Syndicate. But I'm a history buff, so. Right. <laughs> I started Syndicate and, like, got through, like, the first five missions. <laughs> Stop distracting me, damn it. <laughs> and. Syndicate's. Syndicate's pretty fun. I actually played it. It's actually decent. It's, it's pretty fun. Number three. I gotta say, Star Wars Battlefronts. All of them? I, as or a just, whole. as in a whole? As in a whole. Okay. The Star Wars Battlefront 2, the best one there is. Yeah. Two. God, that game's so good. Two is damn good for its time. Playing it now looks like shit. I wish they remastered. <laughs> it was good. It was oh, damn good. good. Like the Galactic Conquest. Like, we played Galactic Conquest it's for like an hour. It's like a game of Battleship. Yeah. An, an hour. And that was just for one fucking planet. Me and you played it for like, yeah. Two maybe, days straight. Me and you like played different saves. Like, we would, you would beat me and the whole Galactic Congress, and that'd be you and a different one. Oh, yeah. I, I was thinking, I was thinking more like that, but. Pew, 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 <laughs> pew, 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 pew. <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. Number two. And this is because I've been playing this franchise for years. Like, I've been playing this franchise ever since I was fucking eight, and I'm still playing it today. And that's Pokemon. Great games. Like, from Yellow and Pokemon Stadium to now with Sun and Moon coming out in like a couple months. Just in the quality of the programming alone, I would just say, yeah. maybe a top five. Who's Number one! Ooh. The Batman series. Of course. Of course. Fucking so good. damn good. Batman guy. I mean, you agree with me, it's damn good. They're great games. I mean... I feel like they've deteriorated over the series though. Really? Yeah. I thought the first one was the best. First one? Can't top it. I, I think just the... Now, as far as story or gameplay? Both. I would say the first one had the best gameplay. The gameplay, It was no. very repetitive. It was like... What normal. games aren't repetitive? Pull up your fucking list games. again, damn it. You guys are killing me. None of those games are repetitive on my list. Okay, when Left you get... Metal Gear Solid? For dead. Well, I mean... Run in the safe house, shoot zombies. Oh, man, it's not repetitive. You shoot dead zombies. It's crap. That's what I'm great. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, Batman. Batman. Back for the old Xbox, the original Xbox. There's a game called Star Wars Republic Commando. You ever played it? It's great. I've heard it. You ever played it? Heard it. <laughs> Not played, played it. it. Greatest game I've ever played in my life. I played through that campaign just over and over and over. Is that the one where you were the Republic Commando and you had a squad? <laughs> Number four. I have a number four. So number three! <laughs> I don't have a number four. I don't. I literally couldn't think of it. Oh, one. hot damn. So number three is Doom. Which one? The original? Or like the all. Just the franchise. The newest one was fucking fantastic. Oh, yeah. Have you played it? I have not played it. Yet. Oh, it what the, the fuck? I bought it. I bought it but I it is it. fucking it, great. It lacked a story, honestly. True. But other than that, the gameplay is fucking sick nasty. Yes, I felt like it was the biggest fucking prequel I've ever bought in my life. Sick nasty. Like, there is no story except for, like, the last chapter. And then the last chapter's like, <gasps> you're gonna figure it yeah, out! Yeah, yeah. Fucking next game! God damn it. Uh, number two. I'm gonna go with Call of Duty. I'm gonna go to World of War. Great game. I love old war games. I've spent probably, aside from number one, I've spent the most time in that game. Oh, yeah. I like introduced, replay. Introduced zombies and shit. Made the whole franchise basically what the fuck Hashtag it is. Hashtag groundbreaking. And it was fucking not this futuristic garbage. Hashtag world. The number one, if you haven't played this, you might be dead. <laughs> or retarded. Or that one. It's, uh, <laughs> He's not saying that. Halo 2. Game. I've spent the most time in my entire life playing Halo 2. Halo 2 is my favorite and one Halo in the series. 3. Mainly just Halo in general, but Halo 2 mainly. It's the best it's one probably series. the best game I've ever played in my life. If you it could is. say, without a shadow of a doubt in your mind, what is the most time you've put into a game? Probably Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. For right. sure. You've put more time than any other game you've ever played in your life. Like, more than Kingdom Hearts. More the Kingdom Hearts 2. I put a shitload in Kingdom Hearts 1. I know. That's what I'm saying. You put more time <laughs> Probably put 100 hours in Kingdom Hearts 1. Yeah. Easily. Man. Probably the Phantom Pain. Me? I know I've put in over thousands upon thousands of hours in Pokemon. Oh, God. Easy. More than that. <laughs> Easy. So to end this video. <laughs> Dolph looks like a zombie over here. <laughs> if you had to pick one game to play for the rest of your life, 
could not play a single other game. You had to play one game for the rest of your life. What game would it be? Uh, Give one, me quick ones. One game or just a franchise? One game. One uh, game. From now until you die. Can it be one that hasn't come out yet? Sure. But you're if, you have, about. if you have that much faith. If it's broken, it's broken. Ah. No man's guy. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm going to see all the planets! Yeah, right. One game. Make it quick. Go. Instant. Go. Um, um. Instant. Go. <laughs> All right, you go. Halo 2. You're <laughs> up. You know what? I'm just going to have to say Metal Gear Solid 5 only because there's so much you can do in that game. And every time you play a mission, it ends differently. So it's not going to be too repetitive. And it's a game that 100% you got to put hundreds of hundreds of hours into. So I'd have to go with that game. You see the new 5. Metal Gear one that's coming out? Metal Gear Survive? Gay as hell. Will not buy it. You want to know why? This is a whole nother podcast, right? All right, here. let's say Hideo let's... Kojima Shut is not in there. Shut your mouth! We don't talk about the K word. Anyway, it's not Kojima, but you can say cut. Quit stalling and answer the damn question! Oh no! <laughs> I would play. Shut up. <laughs> if you could have picked Pokemon, you picked <laughs> one fucking Pokemon game. Like <laughs> if it's Pokemon Yellow, you play fucking Pokemon Yellow for the rest of your life. <laughs> <guy. laughs> I hate Pikachu! Fucking <laughs> pick one! <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> Coliseum. You're kidding. The rest of, your Out of life. all the Pokemon games, you picked that one. That one because it was it was different. It was the first different one that was like, hey, guess what? You get all your Pokemon still, but we're also gonna put a twist on.